Hi YouTube. So today we're taking a look at the Ever Advanced Blackout six person tent you can find on Amazon for $170. Um, this is what I paid for this tent. It has a full rain, this is the full rain fly version. And I have it completely set up and guide out and have the vestibule set up. And I just wanna give you a look at what it looks like fully up and staked out. Cause a lot of people haven't, um, when they set it up, they don't put the rain fly on cause it's a little bit of work for the initial time. And there's not a lot of reviews on this tent. And I took a chance on it because I like to read all the reviews on Amazon and eBay before I buy something. And I go straight to the negative reviews. And something that I learned about those negative reviews is if you don't look at the ones that go correlate directly with the picture of the product that you're buying, they could be leaving reviews that don't even have to do with the actual product that you're looking at. So for example, if the seller is selling multiple um, things of like iterations of something like a different uh, model, but it's kind of the same thing, they could be leaving a review on that or something completely different. <clears throat> so uh, I had good luck on the last uh, two-man tent that I bought. It had pretty good reviews, but also had some negative reviews and I absolutely loved it. It was a blackout tent as well. So I decided to take another chance on this one. And a lot of people left negative reviews saying I had high hopes for this tent and I just want to go through, maybe I just got lucky and just, I don't know why they had high hopes or, and they, and it failed them because, uh, I think this tent is pretty cool. So this is a six man tent. It's a lot bigger kind of than I thought it would have been. It's a pretty big footprint. Um, I will say on the outside, I do see what some people were complaining about where if it starts raining, you do have to come on the outside to uh, pull these down so that the rain doesn't go in. It's like the full, the full rain fly. But I mean, it's not a huge deal. It really isn't. And um, the reason why I believe that they do that is because they want to give you on the inside the most amount of air ventilation and it's kind of hard to have everything it's kind of hard to put a big like if you take this rain fly off this entire thing is a window up here this entire thing is all screened in so taking this rain fly off the whole thing is open and i just want to show you the inside this is a full-sized air mattress but it's actually more like a queen this air mattress runs a little big because i do have an actual queen air size mattress and this was only like not even an inch difference but um if i turn this the other way you can definitely fit a twin and then this full but i want to show you what this tent has first of all the stitching is really good if you take a look at the stitching it's not sealed on the inside i don't know if it is on the rain fly because Maybe not. I could probably see. Yeah, it's not because it has that blackout material. Um, but I will seam seal everything. And I'm going to nick wax everything. But the stitching is very good on this tent. I have to say the material is very good on this tent. This is thinner, but the rain flies very thick. You got two massive pockets. You got one waterproof pocket here with plastic. And then you got two large size. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit bigger net pocket, but these are pretty good. And like I said, look at the stitching, very good. So we go to this side, you got the same thing. One waterproof pocket, the next size up and the larger size there. You got your little hanger thing. If you want to put a light up there or something, I mean, I guess they couldn't put it in the middle, but it's not a big deal. They probably wanted to put it where it was more structurally. I don't know, because the thing that collapses is right there. I just wanted to note that here in the corner, there's a extension cord port that's sealed up very tightly with Velcro. Normally there's just a port with no Velcro, but you can seal it up. Get a nice touch. Turning around, you have a huge, net door with a double zip so you can zip this all the way 
And then you have your door here, which you can undo. Then you have your vestibule. One thing I will suggest is maybe buy the adjustable vestibule poles. Um, these ones aren't adjustable at all. And if you wanted the vestibule to slope down so that the rain doesn't collect in the top, you might want to get the adjustable ones. They're about like $36 on Amazon, but it's a pretty cool idea. But then when it rains, if you want to close the vestibule, it comes down, it zips. Let's see, let's go back out there. And mind you, the zippers work really well on this tent too. But not only does the vestibule zip, it also Velcros here. So you can completely close yourself in on this tent. <clears throat> Um, one complaint that people did have is that this blackout material here starts to flake off, but they're probably in direct sunlight and they probably, I'm going to try to nick wax the entire rain fly and that's supposed to, uh, protect the tent from UV rays. So hopefully that helps. Um, <clears throat> something that helped me setting up the tent. Um, the, some people complained about the poles being very, like when you push the button, here you can see the button here and these poles extend out it was very hard to to pull the tent up so if you look here there's like a little half moon clip here and then a half moon clip here i kept those two off because it was very hard to pull it out i felt like i was going to break the tent but as soon as i pulled these half moon clips off and raised the tent it clipped right in no problem and then i clipped these in so that might help you guys out when trying to set up this tent also, people kind of complained about the rain fly rubbing through in certain areas. And I don't know if it's here or up there on like the head unit, but the tent came with these two foam pieces. And what I'm going to do is I left this one on here for protection. I'm going to put the other one on top and I'm just going to leave it there for a little extra protection because I can see how that might rub through. So that's what I'm going to do until I can find something else. Maybe I'll put like a microfiber cloth and just zip tie it to the poles. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. So since this is a blackout tent, let's take one more look at just how big this tent is. It is pretty big. I have a 10 by 10 easy up. This is, I think, I believe nine by nine. So since it's a blackout tent, let me close the windows and I'll show you how the inside looks as a blackout tent. So if you wanted to close all of the windows, but kind of leave the front vestibule open and just close the door, this is what you can expect for lighting. It's actually very tolerable and you're only getting a little bit of light through the bottom of the floor, but you won't even see that if you're on a high rise, an 18 inch high bed. So <clears throat> if you wanted to leave this door open and just have the screen, but have everything blacked out, this is what you can expect. And it's, it's honestly not bad. Um, it is hot in here and I, I'm six foot and I can stand straight up all the way around this tent. And that's one reason why I did buy this tent. I'm six foot and I had a two man tent, which obviously I can move around in, but I couldn't stand up. So this is nice if I wanted to change clothes or anything like that. So <clears throat> let me close the vestibule and we'll see what this looks like completely blacked out. Okay, the vestibule is completely zipped down in the front, which is, this is so cool because you could put your shoes, like I never put my shoes in the tent because you always end up tracking dirt no matter what. You can leave your shoes out here. Yeah, critters can probably get in there, but they'll stay dry. And this completely zips down from the inside or the outside, which is really cool. Like I said, you just have some a little bit of space here to, to put whatever, keep it dry. So... <clears throat> Let me come back and just zip up the door here. Not that it makes a huge difference, but I really just want to say how well these freaking zippers work. Anybody who knows tents, they get hung up. It's just They just get hung up and they're kind of crappy in that sense. These zip very easily, I have to say. But <clears throat> laying down, this is what you can expect in the ever advanced six person blackout tent. There is a little bit of light coming through from the front of the vestibule, but I live in a like kind of in a gully and I have direct, direct sunlight in my yard. Like it's very, very direct. But this thing 
is very dark and not bad at all. So let me take a look outside with the closed vestibule for you guys. And this is the outside. And I'm going to zip up the vestibule without even holding anything while well, I'm trying to hold my camera, but holding the tent. This thing zipped up really nice. And on top of it, you have Velcro on all the doors. Well, there's one door and then all the windows and there's zippers on all of the windows. Each zipper comes with a little rope to grab onto. The zip is very nice on all of the windows and all of the stitching throughout the tent everywhere is quality. I mean, I, I would recommend seam sealing everything no matter what, but I don't have no phrase, nothing coming undone. Try and do this one handed. It's the back window here. And then what I like too is also when you're staking things down with this rain fly it comes with like these, I don't know if they're canabiner clips or whatever, these clips. And they just clip in right into where you stake them down. Like this rain fly is not going anywhere. Very cool tent. Kind of looks like a circus tent a little bit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The colors I'm not, I'm not a fan of. I thought it was actually coming as a different color. But granted, I still got to put some time on it and see um, if that blackout material starts flaking off like other people have posted pictures of. But again... I'm going to Nick wax this and hopefully protect it from the UV rays. They were probably also in complete direct sunlight. But other than that, if this holds up even for two years, I mean, really, this is, I can't put quite a bit. This is actually a pretty nice tent. Now, packing this tent up, this tent maybe took maybe about five minutes for me to set up by myself, not looking at any directions, just guessing. Five minutes. Um, Fully staked out, guide out, everything. Now, to fit this tent back in this bag with the rainfly on might be a different story because everything came separately, folded up extremely tight. So that might be something different. That That's going to be for another video sometime. But in any case, if you found any value in this video, if I helped you in any way make a decision to purchase this tent, please like the video. If you want, subscribe. I mean, this really isn't a camping channel. I don't know what it is. I just kind of test everything out. But um, I really like to gain some more subscribers if possible. All right. Till next time.